Good afternoon. This is Pamela Bluewater for JNS Biblical Productions. We are here beside the Sea of Galilee, also called the Lake of Gennesaret. We are about to talk to Simon Peter, a professional fisherman, and his brother Andrew, who have just experienced a miracle from meeting Jesus that they would like to tell us about. Simon, Andrew, what just happened? Well, I met, we met Jesus for the first time, and uh, we were putting away all our gear nets, everything. After working uh, all day and all night, we hadn't caught anything. And he, he came up to us and he just jumped in a boat, pushed out a little bit away from shore. And at first I, I couldn't remember what he was saying, but then he said to me, push out in the deep water and let down the net for a catch. I was so doubtful. We had worked so hard and caught nothing. So I, he insisted, so eventually I, I said, okay, and because you say so, I will let down the net. But you were very experienced fishermen, weren't you? And didn't you have any luck before? Right. But reluctantly, we went out into the deep waters, and we threw out our nets. And uh, I was with my brother Simon. We had our partners with us, James and his brother John. It was astonishing. Suddenly... There were so many fish in the nets and so many fish in the boats that the boat started to sink. We had to call the others who were on the shore to help. Now I'm guessing you became believers that day? Yeah, I fell to my knees. I fell to Jesus' knees and I told him to go away because I was a sinful man. He said his famous words to me, don't be afraid. Come follow me and I will make you fishers of men. And we pulled our boats up to the shore, left everything, and, uh, and we left everyone who was watching, and we followed him. Well, um, I hate to bring this up, but aren't your fish going to dry up and go to waste? Mm, don't worry. Jesus must have thought of that, because five miles away on the west shore of the lake, there's a town named after the Greek word tarashe, which means dried and smoked fish. It's a fish salting center. Jeez, Jesus must have considered that because he would have wanted to see the needs of the fishermen's families of his disciples. Well, I guess, you know, Jesus cares for everyone. Um, how much does that boat hold? Well, our, our boats, they're 27 feet long by seven and a half feet wide and uh, four feet deep. They, they hold a lot. In fact, it's so much, it could last, if it was full, it could last for maybe years. Wow, I'm gonna have to go check that out. Yeah, it's a, it's a big boat. So that's incredible. Um, so that's how you're going to start to become fishers of men. How many disciples or apostles is he going to recruit? Oh, I believe 12, just ordinary men with a great deal of faith in him. Uh, he's relating this to the 12 tribes of the Israelites. Are you the disciples of Jesus? Yes, who are you? I am Matthew. I was sitting in my office right over there, and Jesus came to me, and he simply said, follow me. So I arose, and I followed him. And what are your qualifications or profession that Jesus would want you to join him? Well, I was originally a tax collector. I worked for the Roman Empire. I dealt with people face to face on a daily basis. Tax collector? Well, I only took a little for myself. Tax collectors? Nobody likes those. They're the worst of the worst. Well, I can write Gospels. No, no self-respecting person would want that occupation. So, uh, you know, even, even if Jesus wants you, I, I mean, I guess it's okay. You could follow and come with us. Well, this is quite a story. We will always remember how Jesus began recruiting disciples from merely fishermen and their brothers, not from the rich and famous, even a tax collector. They are the worst religiously. Let's watch and see where this leads. Maybe a new church or religion? What are your thoughts on today's story? We'd like to know. So leave a comment and subscribe to our channel, JNS Authentic Biblical Productions. Whether it's the word of God through parables, true stories illustrating 
parables or true stories in the life of Jesus Christ with commentary, you can see them all by subscribing to the most comprehensive collection of videos of biblical stories for you and your family. Have a blessed day.